This slide explains the basics of how software is created for the Scuttle architecture. The yellow items down at the bottom indicate sensors, the orange items indicate actuators, and then the green items on the level one, they are Python files that communicate with one sensor and receive data, or they communicate to one actuator and they output data. Really, they output commands for that actuator to function. The level two blocks in blue are performing uh, the receiving of data from a level one and some computation or deriving some meaning for the mission that your robot is on. And then the level three is doing some decision making where you compare different pieces of information and you create algorithms that that uh, ultimately give uh, commands to the actuators or feedback to the user. The purple text um, along each signal is to indicate what information is being passed from uh, one block to another. Uh, it's important to note that <coughs> L2 obstacle.py may be sending um, more than just this single piece of data nearest obstacle, um, but basically you could have a function that describes nearest obstacle and this would be an X and a Y coordinate. It's best to be specific about labeling your signals so that you're clear on what your mission is actually doing. And um, I could have an alternative function that tells me um, what's the direction of the opening in the room um, that's been derived from the LiDAR. So if we want to do troubleshooting, then you can start from the bottom and move up. <clears throat> Let's say we want to know, can we detect an obstacle and drive around it? Um, and we want to begin troubleshooting. So first you want to validate that these two boxes are working fine. This means your hardware is connected properly, it's communicating with your robot, and this L1LiDAR.py is able to receive the data, the raw data, from the sensor. And these level ones should have a loop that you can uncomment and execute the, the program by itself, and in a standalone manner you can just run uh, these two items and validate that your that your subsystem is working. Then you would comment your loop that uh, executes infinitely in this program and then you can test this whole column and you can say um, am I getting my arrays of distances and angles and then am I taking the subset of arrays and uh, figuring out which one is the nearest obstacle and can I output this information and so when you make a level two it should also have a loop that outputs its important relevant information if the level two has five different functions then maybe while you're troubleshooting you're going to just uh, execute one of those functions in the loop in the testing um, the testing loop for this software it's important to note that um, these these columns indicate some dependencies it says well level 2 obstacle.py will um, obviously need to import the L1 LiDAR.py but on occasion you might design a level 2 that's that's dependent on multiple level 1's and alternatively um, the level 1's and the level 2's may be importing information from other libraries so the L1 LiDAR.py is going to import the USB um, library for Python and it's also importing a library called PySec Tim which is kind of like a driver for the LiDAR device. So the external libraries are not indicated in this diagram. <clears throat>